Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great from my side and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I have a new video you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Let us continue being here for Harry and Meghan. Let us continue supporting them and protecting them against all these hate. So you all know, as much as we have Kate trending because of that particular video that was released. And from my previous video, I said... For me, that is not Kate. I deny it with a lot of evidences and I have said, you people tell me if you think that was really Kate. But anyway, that story was done in my previous video and kindly go check it out and tell me in the comments if you think that is Kate. You can just comment down in the comment section. Now, for this video, I am here to protect Harry, because my people, I have always been saying, every single minute we have some stories concerning other things. We also get this hate from the haters. Now, the British media who claim Harry is so desperate to return to Britain, they have enlisted the support of a twice impeached president to try and get Harry who they claim wants to come back to UK, deported to UK by force just to separate Harry from his wife and kids. But I want to say they won't succeed in this. So my people you know the UK media or rather the British media are the same same people who have always been talking of Harry trying to actually get back to UK. They have been talking of Harry being so desperate to return to UK. And we have always been here to deny that story. Because Harry has never said that he misses UK. What Harry does is actually going for work whenever there is need. He usually go to UK. And that's what I like about Harry. It's not that the royal family being in the UK, now Harry will stop working with other people in the same place. I have seen most of the times. Harry has gone there for I don't know how many times. And it's not that he's going there to show some desperation or to kneel down to the royal family to accept him back. In fact, Harry is so much comfortable away from the UK. And you can tell because whenever Harry is in the UK, he actually gets his own accommodation away from the palace. And you can't convince me that Harry is so desperate for UK. In fact, Harry himself, in fact, Harry himself said in a certain interview that he will never step back to that family. I remember he was asked about going back to UK and he actually answered immediately, so quickly that he doesn't regret coming out of the UK. But the media have always been talking of such stories, talking of the way he is so desperate for the UK and all those stuff. I know you have heard that kind of story before. Now, the same same UK media who really do not want Harry or rather who are acting to actually not welcome Harry back. They are the same same people pushing Donald Trump to actually kick out Harry from America. And to be honest, that's not going to be possible. I am very sure it can't work. If now you do not want Harry in the UK, why do you actually push this kind of story that Harry should be 
removed from America so that he goes back to UK. And it's so funny that they are aiming at this story to actually separate Harry from Meghan and the kids. I'll say this is foolishness. To be honest, Harry is somebody who has stands and he will never leave his children alone. He will never leave his wife. Anyway, GB News head this way. World exclusive that Donald Trump warns Prince Harry he could be kicked out of America in stunning GB News interview. So that is Donald Trump. You all know this person is always here to show some hate. And I have seen him trying to push that kind of hate campaign. But my people, I want to say Trump is actually going to jail and he will be broke. Anything he says is some fake news. I'm just saying that again. Trump is a fake one. And you know, these people are forgetting that Harry went to America when Trump himself was in the office. So did he forget that as well? Anyway, this kind of agenda they are pushing, it will backfire badly on Trump. Prince Harry is one of the most beloved figures in the U.S. And trying to eject him from America would likely lead to mass protest and civil unrest. Trump actually needs to apologize to Harry at this point. Because whatever might come out of the same is something that is so much explosive. So that is on the side of Trump. I have seen a lot of stories, you know, sometimes I just try ignoring them. But at some point, we just need to actually come clean and call out this hate campaign. So what do you think Trump can actually do to Harry? Harry is loved and people will come through to protect him together with the family. Anyway, that is what is there. I just had to share with you that kind of story. Donald Trump warning Harry and that he could be kicked out of America. That is not possible. It won't succeed at any given point. My people, do you think it will be successful? This kind of agenda they are pushing. Tell me in the comment section if you think it can actually happen. And for the British media, you also need to stop this because we do not know the kind of stance you have as we speak. Because why do you want Harry to be kicked out of the America so that he comes back to UK, leaving his wife and kids? And you are the same, same people talking of Harry not being welcomed in the UK. Some things are not making sense. You just need to have some stance and we know the direction you are taking. Anyway, my people, as I have said, comment down below on your own take on the same and allow me end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. My people, remember to also stay safe wherever you are and stay tuned for our next videos. Until next time, it is a goodbye.